Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today's video is brought to you by Corpse Gristle Records. Thanks for supporting this channel. It honestly means so much. As well as the patron and everybody else watching. Just infernal hails. It means a lot to me. And hearing... Mexico's horrified with crematorium mist was one of those releases we're going to be blasting the cassette and with the kids going back to school and whatnot I'm not going to have the the car as much meaning I'm not going to be able to listen to CDs that much so this is part of last month's prize package. And by now, I should go over the uh, winner. But that will be a whole live thing, and then it will be up here. But here's the CD layout real quick. Because one of you sickos are going to get this. Just a single sheet insert but love the cover art and i really want to hear this band's demos because this is a full length and it's like really awesome brutal mexican death grind like not on a disgorge mexico level but it's it's really good it's really catchy like, I love the track Inside the Coffin. It's just badass stuff. And this is another release where, like, I, I love just... I went over the Skull of Hendria with, like, Lado. And here I have Lado. This is L-A-T-O for side A. And for side 1 here, it says... L-A-D-O, so I don't know what's actually correct. I'm guessing Skullpendria is probably just trying to be a little more, like, cult or something. I don't really know. But it doesn't matter, because this is just some good stuff. And again, this is one of those bands. Just look at their photo. Look at their t-shirts. And you, you know what you're getting yourself into. Like, all I gotta say is, there's one person in this, oh my goodness, I just almost caused a massive tape avalanche. But, Necroni, come on, Pathological Performances is one of the best death grind releases of all time. So, I kind of understand why this is so gnarly. By looking at some of the band member t-shirts. Necroni. Embalmer. Necrophagia. Seasons of the Dead. And uh, the drummer's shirt. I can't see. But I'm guessing it's something cool. Heavy. And sick. And Crematorium Mist. Like. To me that's a great like band name. But I'm sure it already exists. But there's, again, about 50 bands named Horrified. There's, like, the American Horrified, the UK Horrified, the Canadian Horrified. It's one of those, like, my only complaint is, like, legitimately, and it's not, has nothing to do with the music, it's just, the, the name of the band. And I was in a band called Skeleton Proof Tanks, for fuck's sakes. Like, what a dumb name. But, like, it made sense to me as I got older. Like, we broke up in 2007. We had an awesome run from 2004 to 2007. And, like, when we started going down, like, 
hey, we want to sound more like suffocation than at the gates and, you know, all this other stuff. Get some mortician worship on here, too. It's just, it's so good. Like, I, I'm so glad Corpse Gristle put this out. <laughs> Stab, 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 stab. I tell you, you know, you have one of those parts when you get to the If I can do that, oh, this rules. Like, come on. This is one of those tapes where, like, legit, I'm not spoiling too much of this. I'm turning it off right now. And I love Corpse Gristle using their own mock-up of the Cannibal Corpse logo. The OG Cannibal Corpse logo. Hopefully they don't get a cease and desist. That would legit suck. I don't know if Hell's Headbangers did because they ended up working with Cannibal Corpse, but who owns the late, who owns the original Cannibal Corpse logo? It's Chris Barnes, to my knowledge. Because on my reissue cassette of Eaten Back to Life, I get, I have the new logo. And same with like the LPs and stuff. Except for my Created to Kill LP, obviously, because it's a bootleg. But like, my Butchered at Birth, you know, you get that OG Cannibal logo, and it's like, come on. Like, I, I would have fought, like, as hard as possible to keep the OG logo when Barnes left. Fired, whatever you want to call it. When Chris left, thank you, Dominic, again, for this gem right here. But, like, it was one of those things that I, I, I legit kind of think Chris maybe was like, well, I'm out, but my logo's going with me. Like, I, I don't know, though. Like, that, that's just the vibe I get from it, because it's just a logo. And it's a logo that obviously, like, people, they go out of their way to buy the sh like, I have an Eaten Back to Life shirt with the original font. And, like, I went out of my way to get that. Because I, I just don't like, you know, like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know if Hot Topic even exists anymore. But I remember when Cannibal Corpse Kill came out. You could buy Cannibal Corpse Kill shirts at Hot Topic for, like, $5. I got a... a Gore, not not agoraphobia. Oh my, wait, what's agoraphobia? Oh my goodness, uh, I'm drawing a complete blank here. It was something I was like, how, why do they have this shirt here? Like, it, like legit, it was like an underground, like, death metal band that had no business being in a Hot Topic t-shirt rack. Like, part of me is, like, thinking, like, aborted Gorm Gormageddon, but it's not, it wasn't. I would make a big deal about that. But it was, like, gore something. And, like, I remember, like, I, I liked that band, and it was, like, a $5 t-shirt. And I was like, oh, fuck, hey. I'll take And then there was a Cannibal Corpse shirt as well. And I remember I had pre-ordered Kill with a t-shirt. And I got, like, the t-shirt and stuff. But, like, it was just, like, the Cannibal logo. And I think on the back, it might have said Kill. But, like, I ended up giving it to my guitar player. Because I just, I, I hated it. I don't know. I just, I just didn't like I, it was one of those logos, I just would look at it and be like, like, when I was looking, like, what shirt I was going to wear, like, legit, I would look at it and be like, nah, I'm good. 
but it is what it is. Oh, it's just a logo. It doesn't change the tunes. But just for the sake of it, let me just show you one more tiny yet. Yeah. If you can get your hands on this bootleg, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Corpse Gristle and Horrified, but I just want to show these good people. Like, come on! And as I'm recording this, today is the official drop date of the new Cannibal Corpse record. And this logo is nowhere to be seen. It just... It, it just looks like your standard Cannibal Corpse cover now. Where, like, I can just look at this demo bootleg all day and just be like... This individual is ripping out their own entrails. Hell yeah. Chris Barnes, Jack Owen, Rob Barrett, Paul, <laughs> Alex Webster, and Paul, man. Like, that's Cannibal Corpse. I love how the babies get bigger. It's just, I'm sorry, but to me, like, I, I just, I love it. I love it. So much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Horrified. To get off topic. But that is my only complaint. Is the band name. Has just been used. So many times. I really wish the band was called. Crematorium Mist. But you can't. You obviously cannot name your album. Horrified. Because. I mean, come on, I don't even need to explain this. But again, I love the... Anytime I see a band that is named Horrified, I'm like, Alright, let's see what route, what route they take. Because the one, legit, like, they sound like early horrendous. Like, when horrendous was still kind of, like, messing with Swedish stuff. It, it's It's good. But, like, it's a little too polished, really. Like, like I, I like it, but I, I wouldn't go and buy it. Because it's just a little... I'm sure it sounds great on cassette, sounds great on vinyl, but it's just a little too polished. The production here is perfect for Death Grind. It's, like, a great media... It's just, like, right in the middle. It legit sounds like a damn, like, Swano produced recording and i'm guessing maybe that was the plan and that's legit who like, I, I didn't look at who did the production but that's an honest like you know hell yeah and uh let's just check I, i'm just very interested real quick and i did not look at it to be honest Produced by Alfredo, Gato, Silvia, and Horrified. Recorded at Laboretto Record Studio. Engineered, mixed, and mastered by Alfred, Gato, Silva, and Horrified. All right. Great. Great job with the production. Just a killer slab of Mexican death grind and just brutal death metal. Corpse Gristle Records. You should kind of know what you're getting yourself into here. Heavy, brutal, and just disgustingly awesome death grind. And with a title like Crematorium Mist. That's such an awesome, like, I'm sorry, that is such a cool title for your debut album. But again, I'm very curious of how sick these demos sound. Because when I see a band that, like, just kind of jumped straight to a full length, if they just jumped straight to a full length, good for them. But if you have demos, 
I w would love if anyone from Horrified is watching this, and I probably should have just done some research and looked it up. I'm sure you have demos, and they're probably sick as hell. But when I saw that this was uh, going to be a full length, I was like, oh, sick. And then, like, just reading, like, the song titles, and then once I was on, like, my 10th listen, I was like, all right, like, this is something really cool and a really great modern slab of just, you know, legit down south fucking savagery. This shit is gnarly heavy. I love brutal death grind. When I say brutal, I'm talking like the vocals are like brutal. And I'm using the word grind for a reason because oh, it's just like nailing Christ to the cross. Horrified. Again, aside from, in my opinion, again, I'm sorry, but a lazy song. A, a, just There's so many bands named Horrified. So, like, when I tell people to check this band out, I have to just send them the Corpse Crystal link or say, Horrified, and in parentheses, Mexico. Like, when I named A Cursed Womb, I knew it was a line from Shakespeare. But that's not why we used it. I just thought it sounded cool. And I just was putting words together, and I'm... I, I might make a video on a good way to write lyrics because there's times where legit like here I'll make a sentence real fast using two just I'm just grabbing releases I grabbed the molders uh vanished cadavers and immortal suffering images of horror so all right let me just make a sentence here. Oh, man. Okay, so there's two tracks on here that have gods in the title. There's God's Little Children, and then there is uh, God's Critters. So... And there's another track, I Murder. So, let's start with granulated blood sugar. Feasting on dirt. Act upon lies. Serenade. God's little children. I murder upon the sweet taste of death. You see what I did there? I just took a bunch of song titles and just made lyrics. It's a little, little hack if you ever have writer's block and you're just looking for some sick words. Yeah, it's a little cheat code for you. But write your own fucking lyrics, okay? When I saw somebody steal one of mine, I was legit, like, pissed off. I was like, yo, like, that's, like, my, that, that lyric, like, legit means a lot to me. Like, back for, in the Skeleton Proof Tank days, we had this one line that 100% came from my heart. And when I saw somebody else, like, use it, I was like, yo... Like, oh, yo, 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 like, I know we don't have our lyrics published, but you know that line, and I'm not cool with this. So, please change it. I would appreciate it. I was a little intimidating back then, but, yeah. Horrified crematorium mist. Fuck. Yes. That's all I could say. This rules. If you like your death metal brutal, fast, and memorable, you can't go wrong with Horrified.
on Corpse Crystal Records. Sounds great on cassette. I only got to listen to the CD twice in the car, and it sounds great on CD. And Corpse Crystal, please make t-shirts with this. With the Cannibal Corpse logo, but with this color. That looks so good. I know it doesn't, my phone sucks, but wow. I'm not even joking, that like draw, like my attention went straight to the lo to the record lo label's logo. Not taking away from like the music, but like legit, that's... I'm a nerd about that shit, and I just thought it looked so cool. Like, here, it's just a little more straightforward, but, like, just that color scheme? Wow. Like, that's, like, some morbid angel colors, like, and it's just, that, I don't know, it just got me, like, hyped when I saw it. Again, kind of like part of, like, the prize pack this month, the braided patch, well, last month. But, um, yeah. Horrified, crematorium, mist, Corpse Gristle Records. Killer, killer shit. Thanks again to Corpse Gristle Records for making today's video possible, along with the patron and just viewers like you. Thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Listen to Crematorium, Mist by Horrified, Mexico, and enjoy. Bang your head. Hails. Right.